Haydımıza başlıyoruz. Hoş geldiniz. Hoş geldiniz. Hoş geldiniz. En son görevi tamamladık. Olgurt'a bildirmeye geldik. Aynen her gün saat 12'de yapıyoruz. Oh yes. Forgot which is sterile. Well don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish and talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say. your wish your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old very easy to say but have you got any proof I do blood in his hand is unmistakable you've done well with you is that all or have you something else gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. Watch it. Hayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do? What do you Did mean? Why cuts, get them? Well. I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Ee, bu bu ilk Witcher zırhı yok mu oyunun başında kahverengi onun full siyahını alabiliyorsun belli bir miktar ödeyerek kötü e, olabilir aslında çok pahalı değilse kötü sonu yaşamama, yaşaması için ne yapmam gerekiyor merak ettim öbür türlü bitiş Allah hiçbir fikrim yok benim <gülüyor> YouTube'da vardır ama yani Radovid often horse a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. Ee, ona ters davranacaksın, istediklerini yapmayacaksın. Da en çok değer verdiğim ve de iyi şeyler yaşamadıysan var deyip Benim dediğim mi yoksa şey mi? Ey mi diyorsun? Enerji o free buy'a mı diyorsun? Hmm. A giant's, or maybe a Jotun's. Zeracanian spears, excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. Goblet of fire. Wonder what it is. From the collection of the mage Aramis. Codex Redaniensis. Sole surviving copy. Tek boyun uzatın. Just again. That may need a stern reprimand. Beautiful. But first blow would shatter them. Apage egg? This one probably also belonged to a sorceress. Fetish maybe. Sold to Madame Lupin. Dress of harky silk trim. Girls! You thought of buying real estate. Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in? Hmm. Auction. En sonu olabilir. Bilmiyorum. Yani sonuç olarak herkesi kırmaya geliyordu. Hayatta. I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation. Food portions fit for a mouse. Drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin that one. Came into a right fortune playing quite. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like Teknik olarak oyunun ana so, akışı senin yaşadığı sonda ilerlediği için so, o yarı final gibi bir şey. Like Orudur vallahi tam bilmiyorum o meseleleri. Oh, smell it, Geralt. That's the scent of coin. Yarami, might we trouble you we spare? Mhm. Mm Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. Keşke öyle olsa dördüncü film oyunu. Ama çok var daha ya orada. Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively treat in canvases yourself, my friend. Bu isteğe bağlı dediklerini. Bu isteğe bağlı dedikleri konuşursanız olabiliriz. Bundan mı alıyoruz? The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah. I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Hmm. 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 
Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Daha soru. Başla. The battle piece, if I'm not mistaken. You err deeply. I bid you adieu. Ya ne kadar güçlü dostum demiyorum ama sana derecede olabileceğin için endar yani. I've grown accustomed. Alım. Karıyla konuşmaya gireceğiz yani. Ne? Bunda yanıldık. Umarım bunda yanılmayız. Ya da bu salon gibi. <gülüyor> yani bunu nasıl alacağız acaba? Dur alırsa başar başarım da verir büyük. Bakalım. Dediğin kadınla konuşma geldi. profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Adın zaten bizim hepsini topluyor yani. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh so distant youth. Didn't you see such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedder Maniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece, what would it be? An armor element, an antique, School of the Wolf, from 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento, one of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with, or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge five percent, a modest uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clings within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Get her. Alalım hepsini bakalım ne olacak. Does the countess have her eye on anything particular today? No. But horse Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes, Not a problem. I'll go right away. 
Burudur valla dereceleri hiç oynamadım daha girmedim daha yeni yeni işte oy. Spilled wine, nothing else. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the countess would care to explain what this is about. All jokes aside. Forgive me, I. God, this is so embarrassing. Do. Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the school of the wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, Night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued. Then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus... I have lived on memories. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. Kahraman. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit mad woman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Ama da güzel. Zırf yok. Zırf. It's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helvet. Geralt here is a positively superb player. Superb! Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Sorry. Another time, maybe. Mm, it is what it is. I'm off for a nosh. By the by, watch those little black balls. Strange, them. Ah, to span the caviar of the Kaviri sturgeon. They're casting pearls before swine. Come, Geralt, let's have a blather with another.
Tech. Beleza. Esteemed lady, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, long lost. Come with me to the forge. You won't see much else by this time. Demi, listen. Forgot to ask you. How's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Host Masodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. I knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? <laughs> my, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two a canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pomtar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes, at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van Roo's starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacle. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, 
once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. <clears throat> Brilliant. With the gentleman with the white hair now at 350. What? I didn't. 350 once, 350 twice, and three, four. 400 now with Countess Mignol. Any advance on that? Going once, twice. Thrice and sold. The professor's spectacles go to the countess. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look. Horst Masudi. Come on, afford some other cocksuckers stealing. Just... Well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you, an itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out, and he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm -hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. I'm trying to knock it. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. 
No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the option. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Ben saldıracağım lan bana bir Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. 
Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract? I do. In the back. Follow me, please. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the bolt door, and voila! Looks bleak to me. Tower wall smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault, a safe cracker. Specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm -hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye. But that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Toast a mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull them it. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as Kyrmi. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man is in the Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt, in a house near the Novograd gate. Be careful. He's modern.
Modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. What do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some little ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plane turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. As far as I know, his troops made camp east of Oxenfurt on the right bank of the Pontar. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spy the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I'd say. Don't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. He could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways. All together. Так, так. Что ж ты там еще? Неся, arkadaşlar. Aldığımız yerden bölümde devam ne? 